uh, just got her up to 50 miles an hour. Trimmed up a little, got it smoothed out. Oh, yes, yes, that was nice. Starting it off with some wallflowers on the radio. How awesome is that? Time to go. Ahsoka considered her options. She was known for wandering into the flats alone. There wasn't anything dangerous there, and certainly nothing that would be dangerous. Alrighty, good morning, y'all. Stay here at the Best Western in Claremont in Cincinnati. First time I've ever been to Cincinnati. So, uh... Today we're going to go over to Weedus Marine. Man, it has been a pleasure dealing with them. To Hunter, uh, who watches my videos, thank you so much for putting me in touch with them. I'm glad you suggested it because I was sitting at the table the other day, last Saturday, and I said, I'm going to go ahead and give old, old Weedus a call. And uh, you know what? I've been happy ever since. Uh, basically just had to pick my color, uh, which dictated the boat that I got. Um, they got a huge supply of boats. Uh, Phoenix, Legend, Skeeter, whatever you want, you know, in those brands, they got it. And they got tons of option colors. Um, I like that they understand YouTube. They understand what YouTube brings to the table. I um, was able to start working with them right away, and it was a pleasant experience from day one. Can't wait to get over there, you know. Just super excited. <laughs> Gonna get my first boat today. One of the most important pieces of fishing equipment right here. Directions to Weedus Marine. Weedus Marine is 27 minutes from your location by car in light traffic. Here are your directions. Weedus Marine may not be open yet when you arrive. Oh no! All right, y'all. Just got here to uh, Weedus Marine and about five minutes from picking up my boat, from five minutes from realizing a dream that I've always had and you know i i am super excited and i was reading over the comments this morning and you guys out there that are supporting me supporting my channel thank you so much um you know that means a lot to me it means a lot to be a creator and to produce content and just have people who view that content appreciate that content and yeah there are the people out there that don't do that but are still subscribed. So, you know what? Thank you to you guys too. I'm gonna meet Richie here. You Richie? I'm Richie. <laughs> Get you on camera, Richie. How you doing, man? Pretty good, bud. Good to meet you. Yeah, absolutely. Good morning. Uh, yeah. yeah. How you doing, man? Seen this guy on YouTube all the time. Hey, Sean Wheeler. How you doing? Lou Martinez. Lou. Hey. Come on back one of your boat. First one I've seen Cody, one of your right there. I'm gonna bring you guys both back here. Yeah, you guys get the same yeah. color boat. You same guys, color you boat. You guys are both taking the same color boat on the same day. Got We're gonna hook it up to the same truck. Just don't get confused. Yeah. <laughs> your, your, yours is a little better. Sometimes oh, these yeah. things, you know, they're if you, if you ratchet them really tight, you got to be careful to bind a little bit. So I just typically like like that. That's all I do. Yeah, I see some guys really wrench on them. Keep an eye out, like when you first have the boat. Sometimes, like from when they manufacture the boat, you'll get little shards of fiberglass and stuff like that. If they get if they get in the threads of the plug, just be careful and like pull them out so that so that they don't they don't get buggered up. They got one of the better motor toters that comes standard. Um, when you're taking the motor toter on and off, you can kind of over trim this and crimp the rigging tube. So just kind of like, like there's just a magic window of like setup wise, and I'll, and I'll tell both of you guys this. I mean, unless you're trying to literally eke a mile an hour out of them, the factory settings are pretty good. On a Skeeter or Hex heads, 
and if you need to access this, like if you need to get your batteries out, let's say you want to put water in your batteries or something screwed up, you're working on your boat, you'll never get your batteries out trying to go through there. You got to come through and do it through there. Okay. So you, you got a master power switch that has to be on for everything to work. You've got the horn. You've got your nav and your anchor lights, okay? So your navigation light is actually built into the bow of the boat. You don't have to do anything there. You gotta be careful with those. And uh, you know, you both got black boats. I mean, you're gonna, you know, if you, if you crawl through them enough, I mean, I look these both boats over pretty good. Both of them are pretty clean boats, but you will see blends and things in them. They are, you know, in the black boats that show up. But um, that's really it. All right, guys, right now what we're doing is just checking to make sure the lights on the back of my trailer works before I get out there, get on the road. Sean here has been great, man. He has walked me through every inch of this boat, gone through every little detail about it. Out here, I mean, again, we're going over the lights right now, making sure that everything works tip top. So the part here that affect, like when you go to back the truck up mm -hmm. and for some reason your brakes wouldn't, you, it locks up on you. Mm -hmm. First thing you want to do is come in and squeeze those two clamshells together okay. so it make good contact because this, contact. your reverse lights are hooked to that center prong okay. and there's a solenoid in there that cuts off and allows you to back the truck up. But if it locks up, there's one or two things wrong. The solenoid in here is bad or you're not making good contact or you blew a fuse somewhere. Gotcha. The Dodges and the Fords are real bad about blowing reverse fuses. You said always check. And the other thing is, is say say your lights weren't working mm -hmm. or something like that. First thing you want to do is come in here, just take a little knife and just bend them out just a tad. Make sure you make good contact. Throw some spray some WD-40 in there every now and then. Make sure they're you're making good contact. There you go guys, Skeeter ZX250. About to drive her off the lot for the first time. Go drop her in the water. Gonna go camping at Salt Fork Lake. Get out there, do my break in, get all that done, just so I can start using it to its uh, fullest extent. So let's get out to Salt Fork Lake and all these dump trucks going around. Conduct the break in, I'm excited. <laughs>